Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have a yes or no bigger card. I add this video every week to help you out with a question that you know you need a simple yes or no answer and some information clarity from the tarot. If you're new, my name is Josie. I hope you consider subscribing. All my links are below if you want to have a private reading with me or anything from my Etsy shops. The crystals is in front of you, my own decks I have created like the one tarot I will be using today and many others, all the links will be there. I also have a Patreon account, we have a lot of fun with the patrons only lives, so check that out if you're interested. Today we have five options, so group one, two, three, four and five. Whichever image, number calls your attention first is most likely the right one, or maybe you have different questions for different piles, all the links will be there for you. Take what is resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. I will set my intentions that your spirit guides will help you to take even more answers here than I give it to you. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be on the description below. Again, group one, two, three, four, and five. Timestamp always on the first pinned comment and the description. Thanks for watching. Group one, if you chose this beautiful card here, your message is divination. Take a breath, take it twice. Insightful reflections are guided by light. Interesting. I do feel like you have um, been guided here to manifest or resolve the situation, but taking some time here to breathe, to just take time for you as well and get more information. I feel like you're being asked here to have patience to manifest it or resolve the situation. But let's see here, yes or no with the tarot. And just a reminder that this is my own deck I have created. This is the clear tarot and I have eight different colors for this one. This is a black and white, but I have many other ones, the same image, but just different colors. We do have 10 and the King of Cups. Well, straight away, I do see the 10 of Cups as very positive energy for you. This King of Cups, Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces can be someone that you're dealing with. We do have the Sun, Three of Wands, not a King, the King of Swords. I do see this as yes for you guys. Group one, the Sun is a yes card for me and the Sun and the Ten of Cups really showing positive energies. Maybe you need more information. These king's energies here, also king of swords for air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, can be specific people that are crossing your path, or you need the you need information from the death for Scorpio energies, magician, and one last card is the Queen of Cups. So we got King and Queen of Cups here. Counterpart energies, soulmate energies. Depending on your question, balancing things out for sure. I do feel like you are completing a phase here and you're coming to this chance here to manifest or resolve this. This is a yes for group one, but I do see as a light at the end of the tunnel. So maybe some of you still have a road to resolve or manifest this. Maybe it's a yes for negative questions. But I feel like you are leaving behind what's not serving and really allowing here a new cycle. We do have the King of Swords as well to again have communication, straightforward energies, cut away what's not serving. The Sun will give you clarity as well for what is not serving and what you need to do. Do you need to have conversations here? Do you need to approach someone? We need trust your intuition. We do have King and Queen of Cups for intuition, for trust, but the Magician here for manifestation, for understanding you have all the tools in your hands to manifest or resolve the situation. Sometimes we are waiting for someone to come and save you when you have all the tools in your hands to manifest or resolve this. You know, even if it's for career, anything that you're trying to do. Ten of Cups, it really is out of fulfillment with a completion, with a phase. Definitely happy relationships, happy home, dreams coming true. I do feel like this is definitely, yes. And this card here, I feel like it's telling you to have patience as well, which I do feel like it is happening because of the death card for this transitioning moment. So it could be evolving, growing, cutting away what's not serving with this King of Swords energy and then being able to see clearly with the sun what is this next for you. Also for action. 
with the sun for happiness. But what do you need to do? If you have not seen results for the things that you're trying to manifest or resolve, just know that you have that light at the end of the tunnel coming away. I feel like it's very positive as well. If you have been through challenging situations or this death card has been difficult to let go of something or resolve something, going deeper here on healing and uh, cutting away again what's not serving, I would say what's not serving? What maybe served for a point, but it's not serving anymore. Place, person, attitude, negativities. You could be leaving just a job or just worries, stress, negativities or difficult phases because it really feels like it's a new beginning especially with the sun with the death and rebirth with the ten of cups I feel like it's a lot of blessings and if you need to take a breath here you see with this message take it twice, you know, like really going in and trust your intuition for reflection for guidance, that light of the sun is definitely coming and trust here, divination, maybe you'll do the tarot yourself or if you're just trusting your intuition, your signs, your synchronicities, your spirit guides could be sending you those signs. Pay attention and trust because I feel like you're manifesting or resolving this really soon. And you're being guided. So pay attention to the guides. Maybe those king's energies, queen energies crossing your path could be people that you're talking with. Communication is important. But no doubt, any anything that you needed to take action here with the three of wands, you have already made your mind for communication, for reaching out, anything that you need to know more, the sun brings a lot of clarity. But no doubt happiness and a positive outcome here. Whether it's yes or no for positive or negative questions, I do feel like there is a very positive outcome here for resolutions, for manifestations, for blessings. So yes for group one, no doubt. I'll leave with this group one. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment and I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the quizzes you see in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose this beautiful card here, your message is the antlers. Allow the magic of who you are to be seen by the eyes you keep. You are enough, my dear. Take ease in receiving. Look at that. I feel like this energy of trusting the divine time, the universe, being able to wait here, take it easy. You know, because if there's some stress, negativities, I feel like receiving, a time of receiving, but having patience as well. Let's see here with the tarot. Yes or no? Group two, Empress and Page of Pentacles. Beautiful. This is my own deck, the clear tarot deck. I have this deck in eight different colors. I know this is the black and white, but I have in eight other, seven other colors. So eight all together. Nine of swords. Group two. Is this a yes or no? Seven of pentacles. I can see some stress, but a lot of hard work as well. Yes or no for group two. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Spirit Guides are definitely telling you don't give up on what you wanted to manifest or resolve here. Some of you are very, very close to manifest or resolve this. Ace of Cups, Relationships, anything that you wanted to do. Also, the Five of Cups. Yeah, your spirit guides are asking you to really see things from a more positive perspective. Some of you are with some stress, negativities. You could be tired as well because isn't even physically tired, you know, working hard and not seeing the results yet. But your guides are telling you we have the Empress energy for manifestation, for really embracing that manifestation power. But there's a lot of self-love, self-care here as well. For some reason, maybe you are working really hard or Maybe you need to go through a healing process here in this situation. There's a lot of healing with the Ace of Cups as well, not just relationships. Even the Five of Cups, you need to see things in a more positive perspective. There's still cups that are up here for you to pay attention to. And we keep many times focusing on what is not serving or crying over spilled milk, what didn't work instead of what is working. There's a lot of hard work, but payback here too. But there's a need to release some stress, you see, with the Nine of Swords. And we stay so many times too much in our minds. And forgetting to take time for the self. 
I feel like there's a lot of self-love, self-care energies here to manifest this. I do feel like this is yes for you. Yes, for positive and negative questions. But you see here with the Empress, even the Queen of Pentacles, is self-love, self-care. And you see with this card here, with the rest and sleeping, relaxing, the Nine of Wands is a need of taking time for the self as well, because you're nearly there. And you have Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, which you are so close to achieve your your potential, your situation being resolved, but you may need to push a little bit. But many times to have the strength to carry on, we need to take a little bit of time for the self. And this is just time for trust your intuition, your guys. Maybe time to just relax and sleep more and carry on because you're so close to manifest or resolve this. My guys are saying definitely yes for manifestation power. The Empress is here. Good news of the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is an offer. It's good news. Maybe it's an offer for a job, career, opportunities you are looking for, or even for relationships to have patience as well. Page of Pentacles may be someone that's just a friend or you need to work on the friendship side of the relationship to then manifest what you want. If you're asking about someone, I feel like, yes, they have feelings for you, but they may be worried about where this is going, maybe not feeling good enough for you. We do have Page and the Queen of Pentacles. But for career, finances, any other thing you try, if it's like a manifestation, we're very close to achieve this. But too much in your mind. Nine of Swords. Are you too much in your mind? You want something to be manifested or resolved, but we think worst case scenarios, we stay too much in our minds overthinking, stressing, and the spirit guides are saying, time for the self, time to trust your intuition, time for a breather, and then be able to analyze where you are and where you want it to go. What you have been manifesting, how far you have come, not how far you still have to go. Many times we really needed to remind ourselves that we have done so much already. I feel like you're opening a door. There's some kind of energies of new beginnings here too. With the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. I do feel like this energy of new for some reason. Maybe you know why. But it's so close. But taking care of the self before taking care of others. You know, both of these energies, Empress and Queen of Pentacles, it's a lot of nurturing being able to have your cup full before helping someone. But definitely a lot of blessings, feeling grounded. There's a lot of grounding energy. You see, if you are too much in your mind, remind yourself, you know, that whether you worry or not, it's not going to change the outcome. But you can use that energy of worry to ground yourself and being able to trust your spirit guides and timing. Divine time here for you guys, group two, no doubt. But manifestation power here. For sure, the taking time for you will definitely help you to be able to help others, being there for others as well. But self-love, self-care, you have the manifestation power, feeling abundant, feeling blessed. It's coming really soon. Even if you don't feel like that yet, you're nearly there. So yes, for group two, for manifesting or resolving something. I'll leave with this group two. I hope this helps out to resonate in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals you see in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links are there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, Group 3. If you chose this beautiful card here, your message here is manifestation. Sometimes they come as a breeze upon your fingertips. At other times, they dwell in the depths of your soul. It is a dance between you and spirit as the magic unfolds. Look at that. Manifestation power, being able to have that dance, that fluidity, the trust on the spirit guides, on the timing for the situation. Sometimes it's very easy, like a breeze. And other times you have to really go deep here to manifest what you want. And I feel like the guides are saying, go deeper in the situation. What do we need to know here from the tarot? Yes or no? Group 3, 4 of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Positive or negative question? Is this manifestation for yes or no? 4 of Swords, Queen of Wands, Page of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely being asked for seeing things in different perspectives, learn from the past. I 
you do have the four of wands, nine of pentacles. Don't forget, this is my own deck, clear tarot. I have this deck in eight colors, so black and seven other colors. It's the same image, different colors. And we do have the judgment card here. So no doubt, I feel like this is a yes for group three. You do have some offers coming your way. Don't miss opportunities. Many times with the Four of Cups, we are focusing on ourselves and we need to. But sometimes we focus on only one area and forget to trust our intuition for opportunities. Someone could be approaching you, can be an offer for a job or a friendship, relationships. In the King of Pentacles, I do feel a lot of blessings and grounding energies, earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe this is someone specifically that you're talking with or you're thinking about. It can be someone guiding you in some way. Money blessings, stability. Also for more secure relationships. With the Four of Swords, I feel like your guides are telling you rest, trust, patience, learn from the past. And this is, I feel like, nearly coming. It's interesting with this card here because it says that sometimes it's like a breeze upon your fingerprint, uh, fingertips. You know, and other times, no, you have to go deep. So you see the depth here of learning a situation and trusting as well the divine time. Queen of Wands here for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, air signs with the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I do feel like you could have been connecting with other people or maybe have a conversation coming with someone. The Page of Swords opens new journeys. So this could be a new communication, a new person, a new job new skills you're developing. Pay attention to the signs because the Four of Wands gives a lot of synchronicities and signs, one, 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 one energies. So if you've seen signs, this is also a reason to celebrate. So I feel like you will have a reason to celebrate. You will have a chance here to be happy about this. And I feel like it's a manifestation power because the Nine of Pentacles is a lot of work, but also a payback. I feel like this manifestation, this resolving things or manifesting, it comes to like a crossroads. It really is a chance to see things in another perspective here with the Four of Swords and make a decision. It's a wake-up call. So I feel like it comes with the completions and karmic wheels, that kind of energy is here. So I feel like you will have a reason to celebrate, you have a reason to ground yourself, but no doubt there's a lesson here. And also to not miss opportunities, to embrace the new, to be bold here with the Queen of Wands energy and do what's best for you, step into your power, and just take a chance. I do feel like this is a very positive energy for you. So no doubt, yes, for group three, with manifestation, with resolving, but also with learning lessons, not missing opportunities, not being afraid to start new, your hard work paying back here for many things you have done by yourself, but you have a reason to celebrate here, no doubt. Manifesting and resolving, yes, for group three. I'll leave this with you, group three. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment, and I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links are there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group four. If you chose this beautiful card here, your message is falling leaves. Let go of the things that weigh heavily on you. You deserve to take up space. Very interesting here with this card. I feel like these falling leaves, like with the autumn energy, things could be moving, could be transitioning moments here. And uh, for you to not be afraid to let go of things that are holding you, if you feel heavy about something, what's not serving in some way to manifest or resolve this situation. Let's see here with the tarot what we have. This is my own deck, clear tarot. This is the black and white, but I do have eight colors same image but eight colors yes or no with these falling leaves group four we do have three of pentacles in the full okay there's an opportunity to start again from zero three of swords mm -hmm. three and three energies four of pentacles what is not serving? You know, because the message here as well is let go of the things that weigh heavily on you. 
So what is in your heart here that is heavy, that is not serving? Seven of Swords as well. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. One last card here. And maybe I needed to start again here in some way, depending on your question. Ace of Swords. You know, group four, because there could be collaborations, things that needed to happen for this to manifest or resolve. This could be a conversation. The third of the, the third, the three of pentacles can be um, another person, a third party energy, even if it's just like a mediator in this situation. I do feel like this is a no for group four, at least not the way you want, anyway. Maybe it's a no or not yet. I feel like you do have um, something to reset because the fools are starting again from zero, so you may need to reset the situation. So if it's not resonating, take one of the other piles. But with the Three of Swords, many times we need to have a difficult conversation. We are not trusting your heart. Or someone, if you're asking about someone here, they may not be trusting their heart. They could be hurt or in need of healing. Trust enough to have a, a conversation that they are trusting the intuition instead of their mind. There's too much mind over emotions here. Someone holding back or feeling you know, that they need to hold back and protect their heart or even for uh, fears of money issues, you know, so holding back too much to the past. There's a need to use the sword here to cut away what's not serving. And the seven of swords can be very tricky energy or someone holding back or procrastinations, or even if you feel like you're sabotaging yourself, even if there's not other person involved here. You know, the page of pentacles is something good coming at some point, but I feel like it's no or not yet. If it's something you wanted to manifest, maybe not yet. There are more things that you need to know. The Knight of Swords is a need to have a conversation. Open up. Also use the Swords to be very honest and cut away what's not serving. And what's, that's what they say here on the card as well. About let go of the things uh, that weigh heavily on you. And you deserve to take, space, to take up space. So you deserve to speak up your truth as well. To have that conversation to be honest. There's a lot of mind over emotion. So if this is for something you wanted to manifest or a job opportunity, I feel like you need more information about this person, this opportunity, this job. And something good can come along the way. But it feels like you have choices, you have other opportunities. So be honest with yourself, whoever's involved there, and get more information. Whether it's getting to know someone, getting to know their real intentions, or even this situation, this job that you want to apply or this business that you want to go through, doesn't mean like you can't manifest something, but it feels like there is a weight or there is some other things that need to happen first, like more papers, documents, information, conversations, emails, exchange, messages. Three of Pentacles is collaboration. So it could be a collaboration with someone that you will see results in the future, but it may not be straight away. So I feel like it's no or not yet for group four, but trust your heart, your intuition, for conversations, for not being afraid to take a leap of faith on the unknown and leave behind what's not serving, starting again from zero. Do not hold back to the past and go for what is important for you. And be honest with yourself, whoever's involved there, I feel like you open a new path, new opportunities. There's some kind of reset and renewal here in some way, but letting go of what's not serving is going to help you with clarity on your mind, information, Anything that you need to know, I feel like it's going to come to help you to come to the surface for clarity. So pay attention to your guides as well. Always send in your signs and trying to guide you in a direction. Sometimes we know what's best for us and then we're still, still not trusting our heart. And the guides are really telling you, trust your heart, your intuition with that three of swords. To allow healing, what's not serving, to go so you can make space for blessings to come. Because I feel like you do have blessings with the page of pentacles at some point. So it could be something different, but it's a new path. It's a lot of renewal, cutting away to open new path here. So I feel like no or not yet, but something better coming along the way. I hope this makes sense and helps here, group four. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. But if you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links are there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group five. If you chose this beautiful card here, your message on the other side is the star. 
And the message here is follow the stars for they know best. Not too light, not too dark. A shimmer of what is coming next. Look at that. The star energy. If you're watching this straight away, we're starting the holiday season. So that's why I'm all decorated here and ready. But I do feel like this star is giving you some hope energy here. Follow. Are you being guided? Pay attention to your spirit guides sending you synchronicity signs, guides, lucid dreams, repeated numbers, animals, something that is making sense to you, a conversation that is really giving you ideas. Follow the stars so they know best. And not too light, not too dark. You know, it may not be something that is so obvious, but it's also not hidden. It will really resonate with your heart, with your intuition. But what else do you need to know? Yes or no with the star, with the hope energy. I'm using the clear tarot deck today, which is my own deck. I have this deck in eight different colors. This is the black and white, but I have the same image in another seven colors. Yes or no for group five. Okay. We do have the moon and the hanged one. Interesting. Things that are hidden coming to the surface. It's interesting with the light here. Seven of pentacles. Maybe working hard in this situation. A chance to see. Three of wands. See the results, see the lights. Hmm. Is this a yes or no? Four of cups. Is this a yes or no for group five? Queen of Cups. A lot of hard work here. Group five. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. I get to say choose just the Wheel of Fortune. And the Knight of Wands. I feel like there's actions. There are things to do here. You know. Group 5. But I do feel like you have a blessing coming your way. You have an opportunity here to see your hard work pay back. My guy is saying don't miss opportunities. There's a chance coming to you here again. But you need to take action. You need to trust your intuition. Things that are hidden right now are coming to the surface. If you're asking about someone's feelings for you. Things are coming to the surface. We do have Pisces energies here with the moon, but also with the Queen of Cups here for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and even the fire energies with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're definitely being asked to see things in another perspective because you may have been working hard and didn't see the results, or you still need more information about this person, this job, or you're just not seeing from their perspective, or you're not seeing your chance yet, or you didn't see your money come yet. Seven of Pentacles is a lot of results. Hard work, but you see finally a payback and also a decision. So I feel like you will see that light at the end of the tunnel with this Three of Wands as well. Even if you didn't manifest this yet, there's an offer coming. Don't miss the opportunity. It's an offer. Maybe someone offering their feelings. Maybe it's a job offer. Whatever it's on the way, trust your intuition to accept that the chance is coming to manifest or resolve this. So I feel like this is a yes for group five, but there are actions and things for you to do with this. It could be, like I said, an offer, and then you have to accept, or you have to have a conversation with someone, or have to exchange messages, exchange emails. You know, it feels like actions need to be taken, especially with the Knight of Wands here, for going for what you want, and then you're going to see the results. Maybe it's a difficult conversation. Maybe this is a yes for a negative question. But I do feel like there's hard work, but also payback and a decision. It feels like you have a chance again, especially to balance things out with the will. It's a karmic will. Maybe you felt like you missed an opportunity in the past, but it's definitely coming back here for you now because maybe it wasn't meant to be anyway. It wasn't the right time. And now you have your chance again. So there's a chance coming an opportunity to manifest or resolve this and balancing things out. But also it comes to what's next. So you're being really guided. So pay attention here because even the hanged one connected with the star is a lot of guidance, synchronicities, the light here that your spirit guides are sending your way. The star is a wish coming true as well. So I do feel like it's a hopeful time. When you see things coming to the surface, you get the opportunity 
and go for it. Don't miss your chance because yes, you can manifest the result of this. I feel like it's yes, but there are things for you to do. So don't hold back and follow that fire of the Knight of Wands, the intuition of the Queen of Cups, and you'll be able to take your chance here. And your chance is coming. And I feel like it's to turn things around, help you to see things from another perspective, and definitely balance things out in a positive way. So yes, for positive, negative questions, but to manifest or resolve something here for group five. I'll leave with this group five. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment, and I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you, my own decks like this one and many others, all the links are there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.